From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your morning update. American Door Company has been family owned and operated for over 29 years, supplying Northern California with quality garage doors, garage door openers, and installed with the best service you'd expect from a locally owned company. We serve all of Northern California from Willows all the way up to the Oregon State Line. Give us a call today. Well, it's finally Friday, and of course, we're getting ready for the weekend. It's been a big week with cool April nights. There's been show and shines left and right and all kinds of great events. We've seen scattered showers, even some thunderstorms earlier this week. And you know what? We've got more of that going in here for today. But before we get to that, I want to remind you that I am going to be out at the Cool April Nights Cruise live. Now, I was hoping to have an expert on cars with me, but unfortunately, they do work with Cool April Nights, and they've been very busy, and they won't be able to uh, arrive at my booth where we're going to be, of course, live. So I'm hoping to find somebody between now and then that knows something about cars, so we can at least let you know what kind of car you're looking at. Otherwise, uh, I may see what I can do. We'll figure something out. But we'll, if, you, if you know of someone, if you're watching this and you are an expert and you'll be there, let me know. You can, of course, personal message me on Facebook or email me at mkruger at weathernorcal.com. You can, of course, go to the website to just go directly there and you can contact me there. So I'll keep checking my emails. I'll keep checking my personal message because sure, it certainly would be nice. But from 6.30 until 7.30 tonight, you can watch from your Fire Stick, your Roku. You can watch from the weathernorcal.com. The 24-hour streaming channel is there. Facebook, X, not to mention Facebook, and excuse me, uh, YouTube. And by the way, if you have a smart TV with YouTube, but you don't have Fire Stick or Roku, that's fine because you can still watch via YouTube on your smart TV. Just go to the Weather NorCal channel and you're good to go. So be sure to check that out at 6.30 and 7.30 this evening. The cool April night's cruise live if you can't make it. Chances for showers and thunderstorms today looks dry for the cool April night's cruise and the main event on Saturday. We'll get a closer look at uh, Futurecast here in a bit. Mainly dry and warmer this weekend into next week and staying mainly dry and mild in the long range. In fact, I'm beginning to see more and more indication that, boy, the wet weather may be over with. But look at the rain that we've seen over the last 24 hours. You know, it certainly wasn't a lot as expected. Some areas did see just a little over a tenth of an inch of rainfall, like at the Reading Airport, not to mention down towards Oroville, and a lot more along the coast, over an inch in climate, about an inch out towards Crescent City, but a little bit less as you start heading southward. So certainly some rain we, uh, was welcomed, that, of course, if you had a show and shine, maybe not so much. But there's your neighborhood at a glance today. Now, here's what we're looking at. I think the best chance for thunderstorms today will be in the higher elevations, foothills, places like that. In the valley, there is a chance, but it depends on where you are in the valley. So let's get into that. Let's talk about where the best chances are. So we're going to take a look at Futurecast, and I'm going to kind of just take you hour by hour here. Let's take it at 8 o'clock this morning. Again, you see how we're just seeing some light activity in the mountains? Nothing major, nothing big. There was a thunderstorm earlier this morning out towards the uh, uh, Corning area. It did work its way into the Chico area, but of course, uh, what we're looking at here as we go through the rest of the morning, here's 10 a.m., maybe a light shower. So this is the situation through the morning. If you see a stray sprinkle or light shower anywhere in the valley, it's not out of the question. But no thunderstorms yet, at least for the valley this morning, although we could see some activity here in the higher elevations. Okay, now we take into the noon hour. You see what's happening? Now, I'm noticing this, kind of interesting. You notice how, say, Red Bluff northward, we're not seeing much in the way of thunderstorm activity, if anything, but most of it is down towards Glen and Butte County and southern portions of Tehama County not to mention, of course, the higher elevations. But even notice out towards Trinity County, Western Siskiyou County, and even the inland areas, not seeing much activity. Most of it's off to the east. Now, we're going to talk about that more in our deeper dive forecast and what that means and what it's looking like. But as we go into 2 o'clock this afternoon, again, most of it's to the south, not much to the north. Most of it's off to the east in the mountains, but not much going on to the west of the valley. And then look at this, by 4 p.m., now it's all east of the valley, and then for your cool April nights cruise time, looking good, even clearing those skies out. But by the way, a bit on the breezy side from those northwest winds. And then it's completely dry by 10 o'clock tonight. All right, so let's take a look at what it looks like for today. Temperatures around 70 in the valley, so still pretty mild, but temperatures in the 50s for many of the higher elevations. All right, let's go and take a look at your seven-day outlook. And starting off with the valley, 
I've got the showers in there possibly for ready, but I'm not anticipating thunderstorms at this point. If we see thunderstorms, it'll be mainly down into Glen and Butte County and maybe Southern uh, Tehama County. You know, Red Bluff, borderline. You're kind of in between there, right? And then Saturday is dry, just some clouds. And then, of course, it dries out through most, if not all, of next week. The coast, scattered showers, maybe a chance for showers on Saturday. Scattered showers inland, not to mention Saturday as well. And Weaverville, that's also the case even into Saturday. But by Sunday, it's completely dry for most of us. All right, here's your Mount Shasta. Scattered showers, thunderstorms, scattered showers, thunderstorms, as well as the Eastern Mountains. And then I've got that slight chance in there for your Saturday. By the way, Saturday is not a big deal. It's, it's not going to amount to much, if anything, quite honestly, uh, for the mountains. The, the valley will be dry on Saturday. And then, of course, we're dry on Sunday for everybody, going all the way through next week. All right, so your cool April night's uh, events here. Well, O'Reilly's San Francisco Deli, you have got a show and shine. 10.30 uh, a.m. until 1 p.m., Enterprise High School, Marquee uh, Shasta, Mechanics Bank, and Cool April Night's Cruise, of course, that big event there. Now, you see the lightning strikes in there? Again, I think the chances are going to be mainly south of Reading, but if we see a stray thunderstorm develop, the best chances would be around this time frame here. As we go through the rest of the afternoon to the evening, chances get slimmer and slimmer for that activity in the Reading area. So there's the area of low pressure. The cold and unstable air has moved on in, and that's why we're seeing that potential for thunderstorms today. Here's the Storm Predictions uh, Center's outlook here. And quite honestly, I'm kind of liking what I'm seeing here. I agree. Let's just put it that way. I agree with what we're seeing here. I think most of it will be over here in the higher elevations. Now, when we're talking about chances for thunderstorms in the valley, yeah, Glen and Butte County, I think mainly southern Tehama County. And again, we could see just an off chance around the Redding area, but you see how it's just barely in there. So I think this is a pretty good representation. And west of that, yeah, chances for thunderstorms, are pretty darn slim. Now I'm going to show you two different forecast models. This is the HRRR forecast model. Now take a look at this. We're going to take you uh, through the morning hours. All right, so here we go. Here's uh, about 10 o'clock noon, right? You see how we're seeing just a little bit of isolated activity. But see, it's Tehama County, right? And then of course, right here is where most of the thunderstorms are developing. That's expected. Look to the west maybe some showers, but I don't anticipate thunderstorms. Now, we're going to take you into about 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Look where the thunderstorms are. Glen, maybe Butte County, and then and there you can see eastern Tehama County. But look at Redding, look at Red Bluff. Most likely not seeing much activity there. And again, it's mainly off to the east. Let's take it to 6 p.m. You see how it's to the north and east of Redding. It may threaten us. But I think we should dodge that storm system. And then, of course, as we go into about 10 o'clock tonight, it's all pretty much gone. Now I'm going to show you the in-house forecast model. And remember what we just looked at. It was a different forecast model, but we're seeing the placement of these storms pretty close. So here's 10 o'clock this morning. Yeah, maybe a stray sprinkle or a light shower, but most of the shower is off to the east. Of course, we saw this a little bit earlier. We're just kind of getting a little recap here. But here's noon. You see where the thunderstorms are? That's where the HRR was as well, right? There's that little bit of activity northeast of Reading. Okay, then we go into about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Glen and Butte County, this whole area here in the valley. Mountains right here. Look at the lack of activity west of that. We go into about five o'clock in the afternoon. Look at this. It's clearing out. We're dry. Most of the thunderstorms to the east. Not much going off to the west here either. Here we go into tonight. Dry for everyone, including the mountains. Now we're going to take you into Saturday. Right, we got the big show, and, uh, big show and shine event there. The big event for cool April nights. Maybe a few showers Saturday morning. Some of those kind of kind of scraping by some of those higher elevations. But for the most part, I'm not expecting a lot of activity here. But yeah, even in a Saturday afternoon evening, maybe some eastern mountains, but dry in the valley all day long Saturday. And not to mention for your Sunday, Sunday morning, starting off with those clear skies. Now. It is picking up on maybe a little bit of activity to the north and east Sunday afternoon, but quite honestly, I think it's going to be dry for your Sunday for everyone. Looking at future cast, long range. Well, remember the last few days, this particular forecast model was taking an area of low pressure and diving it down to the south here through next week. Now it's getting more in line with the European forecast model, keeping most of that activity to the north and what that will mean for us warmer temperatures and drier conditions in the long range. So are we going to see a lot of rainfall out of this? 
No, I think it's going to be dry through next week. So I don't agree with this. This is the Climate Prediction Center. Not sure what's going on in their office there, but I don't see what are the normal conditions here as we go into uh, uh, beginning of May. All right, so you've got the cooler air. You see how that's moving off to the east. Cooler air kind of still sticking around here, but remember, this cooler air was expected to shift southward here as we went through next week. It's doing that a little bit, but mainly staying to our north. Meanwhile, mild, more mild air is creeping in and it's going to push that cooler air to our north. So as we go through next week, we're actually going to see these storm systems butt up against a ridge of high pressure that may start to develop toward the end of next week, which would mean warmer temperatures in the long range. But again, looking at temperature outlook here, it's showing cooler than normal conditions. Don't agree with that. I think it's going to start getting warmer than normal after that. Here's your forecast wind. We're going to take you into this afternoon a little gusty. So yes, it's going to be dry for the Cool April Lines cruise, but it might be a bit on the gusty side uh, through that cruise. And then we go into Saturday morning. We're looking at those winds dying down, but by the afternoon on Saturday, yeah, maybe a little breezy out there. So just be prepared for a little breezy, uh, gusty winds at times uh, over the weekend because it's going to Sunday afternoon. Once again, you see those winds kind of coming back from the north and west. By the way, there is a frost advisor for Trinity County tomorrow night. So this time tomorrow, we could be looking at the potential for some frost in the Trinity County area. There's a look at your wave heights for today. All right, then we go into your uh, Saturday, those wave heights are actually beginning to drop. So here's a marine forecast for your Friday. West winds at five to 10 knots, waves from the west at six to nine, six feet at nine seconds. And of course, there will be some showers out there, but no advisories. So there's a look at your Trinity County neighborhood forecast. Scattered showers, I don't anticipate thunderstorms. Maybe a chance on Saturday, dry for Sunday most likely through next week. Your North Coast neighborhood forecast, scattered showers, probably not thunderstorms, maybe a chance for a few showers Saturday, dry Sunday through next week. Here's a look at the north end of the North Coast, scattered showers, no thunderstorms, but a slight chance for showers, especially Saturday morning. Siskiyou County, I think we'll see some scattered showers and thunderstorms, especially as you head to the central and eastern and not to mention northern portions of Siskiyou County. A slight chance for showers Saturday, drying out Sunday. Now, again, I've got dry conditions on Sunday. If you see a stray shower on Sunday, don't be surprised. That would be the best chance on Sunday in Modoc County. Otherwise, the eastern mountains will be dry on Sunday as well. Scattered showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. Best chances will be in the eastern mountains, by the way, and then a slight chance going into your Saturday. Here's a look at your Valley Neighborhood Forecast, brought to you by NorCal Tractor. So, Corning southward, best chances for thunderstorms. Saturday it's dry and it's dry through next week. Let's take you north. Notice I don't have any lightning strikes in that seven day outlook. Again, Red Bluff, you're kind of in that transition point where we see the better chances for thunderstorms and better chances for just some stray showers, but temperatures only reaching somewhere in the upper 60s, maybe around 70. So there's your seven day outlook. Again, Chico, you have a better chance for thunderstorms than Redding, but Redding could see a chance for a few stray showers, especially this morning, diminishing chances through the afternoon, dry, but I still think we'll see some clouds on Saturday. Uh, but otherwise mild, upper 70s. Look at that, we're getting the 80s by next Tuesday and Wednesday.